broke up a few episodes ago and it just kind of kept going. We were mm-hmm. like, all right, well, we're just going to sit here for a like minute. That's or two. enough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, who wants to do the intro this time? I don't even remember the name of Welcome the Welcome back to The Brutal View. <laughs> it's episode 51. Okay. And this episode, there are no allergies. None of us have allergies, especially not Ruben me. has COVID. Let's just call it what it is. He showed up with COVID today. I showed up with COVID. And yeah. I'm just like, Being you guys are going to deal with this. I'm yeah. half vaxxed. Jake's, you know, You're Muslim. You're vaxxed. So yep. he doesn't believe in vaccines. Mm-hmm. One of those, one of those, the Christian, you know, one of those like uh, insane Christian people who don't believe in um, like uh, getting help from a doctor. Like, they yeah. pray. I forget what they are. Well, I was just radical, I guess. Wild, is just, right. Yeah, wild yeah. tripping. Uh, idiots. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Morons. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Damn, you do look sick. I hope they, I, I'm going to cut to this a lot on camera, dude. You look. Dude, Ill. I'm fucking. <laughs> you are fucking. Allergy. Ill. I have. And I have one allergy. Yeah, COVID's a bitch. <laughs> I have an allergy to COVID. Yeah. So now that I have COVID, it's really fucked up. It's just rough. Yeah, yeah. it's really tough. It's like... Well, I'm John. COVID slash allergy. And I'm allergy. Welcome back. <laughs> yep. Okay. No okay. introduction. All right. right. That's okay. I guess you guys could probably guess who That's I am Jake. by now. Yeah. We intro every episode. You never know who, who the... This, this could be someone's first episode. And they're like, this they fucking guy has listening. allergies. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm out. Like, like, I don't fuck with Fox people that need to be allergies. wearing masks. Yeah. Dude, I was wearing a mask while I was driving here today because my allergies. It does help. I felt a lot better. Yeah. We're probably going to need to take some breaks during this episode, huh? I'm, I feel I'm, like you're... I'm, I'm good. I'm good, bro. Off. I'll just you're keep hurting. my eyes closed and we're good, bro. Right. Like, Word. I'm not even worried. We won't worry. Okay. Um, you guys see that, uh, you know, people that died in Manchester the other day? People the chicken and a biscuit. What was it? Oh, the USA uh, chicken. Yeah, that guy. Uh, I <laughs> saw the article. It was uh, some guy got mad at how an employee talked to his sister on the phone. And so he, he went, went there and shot him. In Manchester and, and shot And then him. that guy just died via, 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 via bicycle. Yeah. No, old dude just died. <laughs> Wait, that's a real story? Yeah. Both yeah, I wasn't kidding. No, that was real. Uh, you can Google like, it on like phone, W. He's like, oh, fuck this dude. I'm going to go kill him. And he killed him? Oh, I thought we were talking about the bicycle one. Well, yeah, no, no yeah. yeah. Yeah, both. Yeah. The shooting, yeah, the shooting was like last Monday, I think. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy to here. Fucked know? up, dude. Right here in Manchester. Yeah, well, people do fucked up things, you know? Yeah, I feel like it, I thought it seemed like it was getting better in Manchester. You'll probably catch me in the basement of people's houses in Manchester. Gonna get shaken. Oh, that's a song. You'll catch, catch me, me in the, in the basement, basement. <laughs> in people's houses in Manchester. That's and what then, I no, do for a living. I was gonna say, should up you to just, interpretation. Too okay. <laughs> Because you're wearing a vest and... You gotta. Okay. Sleeping in niggas' houses in Manchester. Now, that's still too long. That's way too long. S- no. What's the... Basements that's the and Manch. Basements and Manch. Creeping See, up the stairs. Creeping up the <laughs> stairs. I need a beer now. You need a beer? <laughs> Aren't you in someone I'm, else's I'm house? I'm in Jake's. I'm in Jake's shoes yep. right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm in a basement in Manchester in Jake's shoes. Nice. I'm not me right now. Okay. And I don't have allergies. Nice. Moving well, <laughs> uh, I was uh, fucking outside of work for a few minutes today, and I work in Manch. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's a, a park kind of close to my job. I can see it from my job. Mm-hmm. And... Um, mm-hmm. I saw like two groups of people, really people that love their children and people that didn't. So in the first half, just people playing with their kids, Mm -hmm. you know, doing regular shit. And then the other half is a bunch of overweight white people Mm -hmm. looking at their phones while their kids are in strollers, Mm -hmm. just sitting in the sun, scorching, burning a dog in the car. Leaving a baby in a stroller. I like literally wanted to be like, what? Like I wanted to take a picture of it. Like I was like, shocked it's a crazy um duality like it's it's interesting to look at i know what you mean i feel you it's hard to say that they don't love their kids though maybe they don't oh, love they themselves don't. They, they definitely don't they love don't love kids. themselves they're just unmotivated and don't really know how to you know it probably well they, they definitely abuse their children all right this is something that i've known is. for a long time and i i feel like most people be like yeah that just makes sense but hurt people hurt people right like Facts. you've heard that before we've all heard this saying yeah hurt it's a people fact hurt people yeah you, you know tell me to hurt people <laughs> yes i'm telling you to hurt people hurt twice people hurt, hurt people. people like i'll say it once because i want to say it twice for <laughs> emphasis right? 
So, no, no, no. But hurt people hurt other people, and that's just the way it goes. Facts. And I experienced something like that actually pretty recently. And I knew this already, but it really reminded me, like, oh, when someone's out to hurt you, it's probably because, like, they hate themselves. Stab, stab, stab. Straight up. So how did you deal with it? You bitch slapped them, right? No. It's yeah. just accept the things you can't change. I'm not going to save people. Like, I'm not going to build your house. I'm building my fucking house right now. should have bitch You know what him. I mean? That so got I was the, just like, okay. I think that would have got the point home, though. You want to hear a story about that same park? Shoo. Shoo. I uh, was driving to a job from a job, and I look in the park, and someone's facing the road, and they were taking a piss. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that dope. part. Yeah. Dude, it's an open. Facing, like, I remember I texted wide you open that. Street. Was, yeah. Like, he was just dude, pissing on the fence, and you could just see what him. Beast. Get, because the fence was like down here. So many homeless people. So many homeless I people. I saw a guy wheelchairing backwards in the rain with a sign the other day. Dude, there was a homeless <laughs> person that was camped out next to the entrance of my building because there's like a little alleyway where like rain and snow won't hit you. So mm-hmm. they were like tucked in there. Yeah. We had to call the cops. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Shoe. Get the fuck out of here, guys. Shoe. Yeah. No way. Fucked up, right? But Fucked up. They're people. They have stories. 100%. And it's almost always mental illness which sucks mental but like, illness or drugs no, when i was out in then, cali it was all shit. drugs you could see them they their favorite That's thing to do is have a dog mm-hmm. and they're like oh i need some money to feed my dog and then you just see all like the track marks and like the fucking abscess That's why or they whatever wear long sleeves, bro. yeah you well, never it's see too like hot a- in california for that dude it was oh, like 110 so? degrees oh yeah when i was dude, living out there i was sweating balls yo all the you time. say that man but it's the fucking homeless people begging for money on the side of the road that have fucking jackets on and mm. multiple it'll be like 90 degrees outside yeah, i'm like true. this motherfucker has a flannel yeah. and a jacket dude on. i couldn't like, imagine being homeless in uh new england with I winters and stuff it's yeah. awful being yeah. dude living in new england is awful enough Dude, if society collapsed, they would do better than we would because they're used to it. <laughs> yeah, maybe. They'd go eat trash, whatever they do. <laughs> 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 they're build, not raccoons, build their shelter. They're not fucking <laughs> well, yeah, animals. Creatures. Cre- um, eat trash. I, I, there's a homeless person that's always at the same lights every time I'm going by there that he's there again. Like I saw him today mm-hmm. and I saw him in the winter. And I was like, where the fuck does this guy go? Like at night? Like it was like a foot of snow and he's Probably standing the in the alley. median. I can only speak to what I've seen in my life and my experience. But where I come from in Lawrence, there actually is a group of homeless people that I know. And this is a fact that they all beg in Lawrence and they just have an apartment together. And they yeah, make, you make mad, mad money. money. Yeah, panhandling. They make mad thing. money and they just live in an apartment. And that's just what they do. Damn, and they just fucking that, do drugs all day. I think people do that. Well, that yeah, one that was standing sure. outside of Walmart, uh, I guess uh, a pizza owner, uh, that was I heard about at work, a pizza owner went and offered him a job, and he was like, fuck no, I make w- like a ton of money doing this. Right, yeah. I haven't seen him there in a while. Yeah, that's kind of what the pandemic's doing. People are like, I'm making more money being unemployed and getting money from you guys. Like, Straight why would I up, fucking dude. get a that's job? Crazy. Yeah. Here we are. Okay, we can get off that. <laughs> yep. Niggas are dying. Moving on. <laughs> nice. Um, I watched that fucking movie, Tenet. You know how there was like a big deal about that movie? Yeah. Is it good? It's pretty fucking good. Oh, is that the movie? I w- came watch- in here and the people were going backwards. Yeah. Do you yeah. have to watch the other two movies first? There's more movies. There's other movies? That's the third one in the series. What series? Glass. No, Tenet is Oh, no, no, no. Different. Tenet, yeah, you're right, yeah, yeah, you're right. That's right, different, right, yeah. 100%. Yeah. What am I thinking about? Glass is a, wasn't Glass that bad of a movie. Glass, Split. In the Indestructible or something like that. Something like that. Right. Yeah, you're right, the you're Bruce right. Willis, it's not Tenet. You know? It's not Tenet, yeah. Yeah. Now, Tenet's uh, Denzel Washington's son is the main character. And, okay. Um, it's pretty fucking good. Okay. It's a, it's like, it's involving time and like going mm. backwards in time, but mm-hmm. the way they did it is pretty genius. It's, I heard that the sound mixing is horrible. It sounds a little weird at times. Like you can't hear the characters talk. Well, which it, I hate. It, no, people just didn't get it then because the people are talking in reverse. So like they're seeing the reflection. As, you got to watch the movie. All right, you got to watch the movie. I got you. I got you. The, you see their mouths moving, but it's not them actually talking. It's like what you're seeing in them. Okay. Move on to the next okay. thing. Um, <laughs> I watched uh, Venom for the first time. Still haven't seen it. Great fucking movie. I, I don't know why the that got hate. The song is great. Eminem. Good song. Yeah. Venom. Pretty good song. Yeah. That's all I have for like movie shit. I didn't have anything. I'm yet. surprised I haven't watched it because I like like a lot of like, uh, what's that guy? Tom Hardy movies. Yeah. He's a great actor. Dude, he, he was actually probably the reason it was great, to be honest. He played the role perfectly. Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I don't know, man. We could talk about movies and shows, but I don't really watch many. 
you know? I watched uh, um, Invincible, but we already talked about that. Yeah. You know? Ruben, make up a horror story right now. Okay, so a uh, couple, they're young, they're on their honeymoon, they're in their 20s, they just turned 21, they're on a honeymoon, right? So they go to an island, and the island's never been heard of, and their parents are skeptical, but they're like, no, we're going to go, it's really cheap, we're going to go. And then I was like, fine, whatever, do what you got to do. So to get to the island, they got to fly out, then they got to take a boat. And on the boat, there's a really creepy guy, and he's just like, a lot of people go to the island, and they don't come back to the island. But these people are mm-hmm. fucking idiots, and they don't take the one. They're like, yeah, right. Hey, of course, I'm a male. Like, like, we're going to do hey, it, We're white. Like, yeah. it's cool. No yeah. worries. We're not so, scared of that shit. We're not scared of that shit. So yeah. they go out to the island, and the island has zombies. So, so they land and they're having a good time. Like they have the best day ever because that's how these horror movies go, right? Back, so they yep. have a really great honeymoon. Yeah, they, they a fuck. There's a sex scene. scene. They mm. fuck on the beach, but it's like just like uh, the the Wolf of Wall Street when he sees them fuck from. No, is it the Wolf of Wall Street? No, that's it's, the one um, snoring coke off the girl's ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, rum, Rum Diary, the Rum Diary. I think okay, that's Johnny Depp, the Rum Diary. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm it. talking about. Yes. The sex scene on the beach from far away when Don't you know really they're fucking. To be honest, but, but I think I know. It's what, iconic. Like the silhouettes or something. Yeah, right. you see the silhouettes <laughs> fucking. I'm like, that's yeah. really weird. Like yeah. weird sex scene. Like, that's but, weird that I have a boner from that. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. it's gonna have the exact same sex scene, but then it's gonna be a zombie, and then he's gonna be right. And then, boom, cuts back to the people. They're finishing up. He's putting on his pants. He's like, hey, this is a great time. Nothing could ruin this. Ha, ha, ha. That guy was creepy on the boat, right? Ha, ha, ha. So they land. They get off the boat. <laughs> zombies. My bad. <laughs> zombies. They're going to smack with zombies. They fight the way back to their cabin. They make it in their cabin. He has a gun. They're good. They try to make it back to the boat. The boat guy dips. He said, I told you. Nobody come back. From the-. He leaves. So they're like, what the fuck, right? Okay. And... um. The husband gives his life. He dies. Okay. The husband's like, no, I got to save you. So he pushes the wife out into water and he fights us off the zombies. Into water? Into yeah, the so ocean? She, so she jumps out in the ocean. She's just fucking swimming. She's like, I'm going to follow this boat. Is Fuck it. it. She, it's, she's a crazy bitch, right? She's and like, I'm going to follow this boat. Ocean? Dude, and then um, while she's swimming, she feels something go by her feet and she sees little things, but she thinks she's hallucinating because she hasn't drank water and like... Six hours and she's been swimming. She's tired as fuck. And they're Portuguese man of war. She's like, fuck. And those are really toxic. So she hit one. She gets stung. She hits another. She gets stung. Soon enough, she's paralyzed. She drowns. They both die. End of the movie. So when you're talking about zombie in the sex scene, have you ever seen uh, Red vs. Dead? No. It's, uh, Is that a Russian movie? It's, uh, no, mm-hmm. it's Swedish. The first one was something, uh, something evil dead. I don't know. Not yeah, evil didn't you show me that? Yeah, but at the end of the movie, like his girlfriend dies in the first one, and at the end of the second one, he like finds a way to turn her into a zombie and then he fucks her. Yeah. And that's Shut how, the fuck up. That's how the movie ends. Mad fucking funny. Yeah. That's hilarious. That's how the movie. That is. was fucking. That was like a five minute. Like you went beginning to end on that. That was fucking. I know he did go a long time. That was impressive. that just reminded me of that, and I had to say it before I forgot. Yeah, was no, it okay? Uh, no, that wasn't bad at all. That was pretty good, dude. That's probably a movie that's out like that we don't know of. Like someone probably tried to do some similar idea. I want there to be like hope. I, like I want the husband to die with hope. Like my wife will make it out of this at least. Yeah. And she's like, at least there are no more zombies. And then all of a sudden, like, no, you dumb bitch, you're in the middle of the dumbass ocean. You're getting some of jellyfish and you die. You know? That's, I think that's good kinda, because I think you think the movie's like about zombies and shit and then she dies from It's like, jellyfish. what's the horror about it yeah. is that everybody dies. The reality. The reality <laughs> is everybody dies. No one's happy about it. Right. And there's no closure for anybody and that's the horror. That's nice. the true horror. Nice. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. Nice. Thanks. Yep. Okay. Cool. The M. Night Shalman twist right there. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up. Um, have you ever had a gun pointed at you? Like in a threatening way? Not in a threatening way. Uh, well, no, that's not true. I, I'm going to say no. Have you, Jake? Gun pointed at me? That we can talk about at least? No. Okay. No, not that we could talk about, motherfucker. Never had a gun pointed at me. I have one that we can talk about that's mm. quite funny. Um, so one time me and uh, our boy Redman was at the Rockingham Mall. Yep. We were like fucking... 12 no we were like 14. no you're old because i lived here Fi- okay so it might have been 15 or 16 then that like, mall, say like i old you're at the mall <laughs> that mall's like a safe space like they have cops and shit like it's yeah popular. but we're like out in the parking lot so okay i don't know i rolled up blasting music because i was just a shit at what time 
I don't know, like five in the afternoon. We're okay. probably there on like a Friday or Saturday. Like driving night. in a car, or just like in, in a Rav. Bike? John in had his license early. A blue Rav Four. Oh, you were one of those kids, huh? I was like the first out of the Dude, first. That's dope. Him up for drivers. First one in high like school. Two. Everyone out. That's dope. Type of thing, yeah. But um. All right, keep on going. Yeah, so it was just uh, there was a bunch of people at the mall we were meeting there, but mm-hmm. me and Redmond pulled in with a Rav. And we were in the parking lot. We, I don't know. We were blasting music. We were doing something stupid. Mm-hmm. And this like car drove by and uh, like said something to us. So we like popped off at it. We were just talking mad shit. We were like, oh, fuck you, like faggot. Like, talking mad shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we were talking yeah, yeah. hella shit I'm to with him. you. I'm with you. I'm just with you. Stupid ass. Yeah. Straight and, up. Straight up. You know, I like drove away kind of slow. It was a nice car too. It was like a Charger. It was a wicked nice car. Um, I think it was two dudes and they drove away. And um, you just start slowly walking, and then we see it like kind of turn back in the parking lot again, and turn around again, and then it starts turning towards us again, and then comes back down. And this time, we're seeing it pull up, and like the window starts like rolling down like all the way. We can see them, and they have like glasses on and shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And me and Redmond just kind of like backed up like towards the car again because we didn't know like what they were gonna do or say. Facts, facts, and. We don't know if it was even real, but the dude pointed a gun at us. He probably said, like, bitch-ass niggas, and then he drove Didn't off. say a word. Just very slowly driving, pointed the gun at us for, like, four seconds, and then drove away. Me and Redmond didn't say anything or move a muscle. We just froze, like, mm-hmm. staring at it. Like, I don't even know if it was real, but the dude scared the fucking shit out of I us. I would have been like, shoot, pussy. Shoot, bitch. Would you have? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. It depends on my mood. Yeah. I might have, though. Mad young. That was a weird that's true. experience. That's kind of that's kind of fucked up. Sorry that happened to you, bro. Oh, no. It wasn't that. I mean, like, we laughed about it immediately after, but we were, like, in shock for a second. We're like, was that a gun? And yeah. It was like, I'm pretty positive that was a gun. I was like, what the fuck just happened? He, like, just like, bought a water gun, and he's like, oh, right? And then take it out of the container. Take it out of the bag. And he, like, one. took it out. Yeah. yeah. It was like an airsoft. And took they off looked, the yeah. orange tip. I don't think they saw that. At they looked the like kind of pussies too they had yeah. like i don't know if they were military cuts were. but it was short hair black Beaches, shades niggas. and like dress shirts on maybe they were both military and they just had their gun could be worse yeah that'd be way worse way worse <laughs> i know people that would have done that yeah Fuck do you guys don't have any stories you can tell about that no nah, man my my dad raised me to have good gun etiquette he was always no, a collector like friendship of guns. though no my i dude i grew up in mass Nobody in Mass has guns. That's a New Hampshire thing. That's 20 minutes away. Which, we're in yeah. New Hampshire right yes, now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have that like being, eight or nine. That being said, some people should not fucking have guns. Some people are moronic. Yeah. You know? I met somebody. Surprised some people haven't killed themselves with the guns they have. Dude. Oh, my goodness. Some people are just like. <laughs> <I'm> just <kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> he rolls his eyes. Dude, I bet you Haley would chastise you for, for the same thing. If anything. Does she support hmm. your gun? Hobby, I don't know. Is it a hobby? I don't know. Uh, she bought me a four hundred dollar gift card to uh, the gun store for Christmas. So that's supporting. It. She's like, I don't know what to buy you, but here you go. No, she <laughs> bought me other things too, and that it was yeah, dope. dope. Okay, that's, that's dope. That's good. And I feel I, like that'd be a beef. yeah. That was nice because then I bought like a seven hundred dollar gun. Nice. <laughs> so I'm good. So I like shooting guns. I know how to shoot guns. I have pointed a gun at my father by accident. I have had a gun pointed at me by accident by my cousins. But that's like they're just swinging it around and like okay, not you know, really threatening. Not really yeah. threatening, right? I don't really want to say any other type of story I may or may not have. The, yeah, it may or may not have happened yeah. for sure. I had something else I wanted to say with this too. One time, my pastor pulled a gun on me. Was it before he fucked you? Yeah, and then he fucked me with the gun. With the gun, the really pastor glad. was like, "Stop! I'm, don't fuck me." I'm really <laughs> glad. Literally, I'm like, I'm really glad he, it didn't go off. That would have been a fucking yeah. nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. Ruptured your insides. You think about it, a gun's probably not as bad as a dick. Yeah, I'd rather it get was shot cold than raped. And it ha- was it. It was cold. <laughs> was it a shotgun? <laughs> no. A little pistol. Oh. He's like it was a mm-hmm. revolver, mm-hmm. An old school um, six yeah. shooter with a long barrel. <laughs> mm-hmm. Gross. Well, how was your guys' week? Since this doesn't seem to, you guys don't seem to be going off of anything. A motherfucker, I work, <laughs> work, work, work. We all worked. worked. Uh, did I do anything exciting this week? Um, at work. Uh, no. Uh, speaking of it's a fucking back to Manchester story, just because I work there too, I drive around and drop shit it, drop it. all day long. Um, 
I'm driving down the street and I see these police officers and the police officers like, because I'm fucking whipping it. So I slow down and then I see all these cars uh, sideswiped and then this girl's like her car's like smashed into the sidewalk on the no other side shit. and she's out on her phone freaking out. Jesus. She probably was texting and smashed into those cars and then somehow. Don't text and drive, baby. Yeah. That's a big thing. Like, it's really bad. Especially to in Manchester. It's like don't drink and drive just only at stop signs because you're not driving. But especially in Manchester, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, well, you want to do a chicken review? Yeah, should we, we should probably. Yeah. You want to. I'm going to go grab it. Well, anal. Page. On anal. All right, Ruben, you can lead this one. So this is another um, chicken review because everyone's dropping a fucking chicken sandwich now. So to be honest, I actually had one of these recently. And Did that's you? how I know. Yes, because I went to BK because they have these bomb ass cheddar bites. Have you guys tried that before? Oh, you should have got the rodeo chicken sandwich. Oh, those are fire. Yeah, for that's sure. what Haley gets. Uh, those I, um, are fire. No, I haven't had the cheddar bites. All right, so it's just or like a jalapeno sandwich. popper. They got jalapeno poppers, basically. Okay, that sounds good. So they got this shit. I tried it, but I'm going to be completely unbiased. Okay. <laughs> this is uh, spicy with uh, tomatoes and lettuce. This looks actually pretty promising, just from the look of I it. I think there's cheese on it, too. Yeah, there is. And uh, what? I don't know if I can show the camera that well, but right away, that chicken is peppery. I gotta say, this is a beefy sandwich. Like, this is a hefty sandwich. Stuff this like isn't that. bad. I'm kind of with it, dude. Off the first bite and a half, this is pretty fucking good. Has a nice spice. They have like everything on it too. I I feel like this is kind of a jack of all trades. Right. Like, this is pretty good. It has the condiments like Chick Fil A. It's peppery like Popeyes or KFC. It is crispy. It's not as meaty. Like, and I, when I mean that, I mean the chicken itself. Like, it's not as in your face chicken flavor. Like, the real you know. question is, how much was it? Oh, I that's think it's always I think a it's heavy 499. factor. Oh, Five that's, so that's not that I bad. Too was bad. it Burger King or was it McDonald's that was selling like 40 fucking chicken nuggets for uh, like a dollar? It was something. Um, it was something mad BK, cheap, like seven dollars or something. That sounds gross. Yeah, that's BK. BK does uh twenty piece. No, a ten piece for a dollar forty nine. No, a twenty piece for a dollar forty nine. Nuggets at BK. Yeah, yes. dude. Yeah, but they're BK just has not everything. Good. Wendy's has the best. I know. I'm not a big fast food person, so I, I eat, eat so the much, most fast food so on McDonald's. this podcast. <laughs> Bad Papa John's the other day, and you know it was like kind of ironic because you remember how we got uh, canceled for like saying like the N word and stuff. Was that, that was Papa John, right? Mm -hmm. Dude, that was a conspiracy. You know that? Was <laughs> it? That was definitely true. Well, they goaded him into saying it. Like, the context in which he said the N-word was not where he was just saying it to say it. They were doing a racial sensitivity training. Oh, really? Yes. They were doing a racial sensitivity training over a local cloud service. And he said it in that context in reference to something. But he got himself like, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, and then, that makes it worse, too. And then they leaked it. So it wasn't like yeah. someone... Rec no, Game the cloud over. service leaked it. Game over. So it's actually like... It's, it's really fucked up. I've kind of been following it. This is kind of interesting. That's shitty. But that guy definitely thought about that before he saw that word and still decided to be like, I'm mm -hmm. going to say it. <laughs> they just felt wrong coming out. <laughs> Well, now that I know that, never mind. It's not that kind of ironic. I was just going to say it was kind of ironic because I'm walking in there and they had a huge ad and like, and then it was like a black guy talking, you know, like on the ad. And I was just thinking, I was like, oh, didn't this guy just get in trouble for saying the N word? And then there's this huge ad. I was mm -hmm. like, but now that I know he was, uh, it's different. That's not what mm -hmm. I was expecting. Mm -hmm. I never really got into, I just saw like, uh, like a, um, I can't think of the word. Like a the commercial? thing before an art. I saw an article. Oh, I didn't read into it. Like so an like, ad. Yeah, yeah. One of my favorite podcasters, H three. They've been following this story and they've been reporting on it, which is really interesting. They've been doing a really good job. So after that happened with the N word, they took over his company, and like they 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 kicked him out. Like the the chair. Like the um, the executives that he had for the company, they literally kicked him out. 
Okay, I was so going to ask like, if like black people took over the company or so it's no, still no, it was like white people then. Literally the person that took over the company was his like apprentice. The person that he's been training, he's like, yeah, like, what no, the fuck? That's kind of cool, then. That's kinda it is kind of cool. Good for them, it's I like guess. It's like a movie, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> all right, this sandwich, what are you rating it? Um, all right, so peppery. It has a good spice to it. Um, the quality of it, decent. I don't think it's anything to freak out over. I feel like it does beat out its competitors in the direct category. What I mean to say is like McDonald's Facts. doesn't have shit to this. Facts. This beats McDonald's. Long shot. Long shot. Long Seven shot. days a week. Yeah. 24 hours a day. Like every day. Yeah. I don't um, know if I'd do it for the five bucks though. That's Five bucks is steep. For if, this specifically. For this. Well, let me tell you, if you live in an area that doesn't have a Popeye's or a KFC. Right. Or uh, Five Guys or anything good like that. Then you can stop at Burger King and get yourself a decent chicken sandwich. I'm going to give it out of five, a three and a half, a very strong, a very strong three and a half. I am going to 100% agree with you there. Three and a half. A very strong. Firm. Yeah. Like. You, you could argue. You could argue a little higher, a, if a anything. A point or two, like a point one or a point two. Mm -hmm. But that's, yeah. But no, I think a firm 3.5 is good. Yeah. Um, It's. I don't think it's better than like KFC or Popeyes. Or no, it's not. I don't think it's better than it's any of them. It's not. Yeah. It's um. It has a lot of breading, which is okay. Um, if breading you're into was that a lot. Sort of thing. <laughs> it was a lot. Yeah, for sure. Chicken was. Yeah. Yeah. But no, the flavor wasn't. was there. The right. flavor was there. Yeah. They had tomatoes, lettuce, cheese, mayo, sauce, pickles, like well, everything you want. It's right. on there. It was nice. You don't got to just eat bread and um, fucking meat, which is yeah. what KFC has. Yeah. So. Yeah. Three and a half. Three and a half. We'll uh, see if something else if something 3. else drops. Three point five soon. out of five. We thought the war ended with the first three reviews we did. We ended up doing like five or six now because the yeah. McDonald's one the, too. And yeah. Then... Too bad there's no uh, like uh, in and out and like shit like that. I right? know. You guys can dude. do five guys. Have you done that yet? No. They don't have chicken sandwiches. But yeah, I was oh, gonna you're say, right. You're doing was... chicken. I'm thinking this of fucking chicken burgers. Sandwich well, this was specific to that war that they started. Uh, you know how they're like. Exactly. Yeah. Better than Chick Fil A. Like yeah. exactly. that's what it was specific to. So. Exactly. That's now, true. It's like who has the best sandwich for the best value, and everyone's arguing for. It. Everyone wants a crown. Right now, the crown rests on KFC's head, in my opinion. And for the subordinates, BK. Burger BK. King. I don't think it's going to stay that way. KFC has to step it up. They got to get some lettuce and tomato. They got to get some fucking cheese in that bitch. Yeah. They. They. I think a chicken sandwich is perfect with just cheese. I, I think cheese – do you think cheese is necessary on a chicken sandwich? I mean I wouldn't mind it just cheese and a piece of chicken. A very then, traditional chicken sandwich is chicken, bread, pickles, mayo. I think I've heard that before. That's very traditional. But yeah. I eh. I feel like cheese is kind of a must. I like cheese on chicken. Well, cheese is I like, like – ketchup on everything. Ketchup, ketchup is, is damn good Ketchup is good. Everything. It's like a sweet salty. I don't know where that yeah. came from. but very, very, No, well, no I, I agree food, Let's just let's reel I, it in. I right? agree with you for sure. Ketchup on any sandwich will step <laughs> up a little bit. If you guys could eat one food for the rest of your life and you wouldn't get fat, what would it be? And I wouldn't get fat? Like that's the yep. only thing I can eat? No, no, no. It's just you choose one thing. You can still eat everything else, but you choose one thing to exclusively oh, not make you fat. fuck. Hey, what is it? Oh, shit. Think I'm torn. It. Jake? I'm thinking about so many different foods right it's now. It's either going to yeah, be same. rice or pasta, but it's but I'm torn. Dude, I'm not going to lie. Oh, probably fucking um, Chinese pasta. food, dude. Oh. I do rice. I do rice. Rice or I pasta want rice. is really good. I want just Damn. straight up rice. I can eat as much rice as I want. I would eat fucking gallons of yeah. it. I I love rice. So you bro. said you said Chinese food. Yeah, that's fucking good too. Damn. So you guys thought a good one. I was immediately like ice cream because it's mad unhealthy. Oh, for I you don't really like nah, I don't give a fuck about. It. I eat like I I'm didn't a think of like the actual guy. the foods for some reason. I just thought of like snacks and shit. So. Like rice, okay. can, rice. I can have Chinese food. Eat all the meat. That's good. But the rice doesn't affect me. You can have like a seafood paella. You can have risotto. Like. Maybe just fried foods in general. That's too broad. That's too that's broad. Too yeah, broad. choose one. That's too broad. Because he starts saying seafood, I'm like, oh. Well, no, right? but that's what rice. I'm thinking. I, I don't mind but bacon. But that's the seafood. thing. Like, you could eat the paella and you still get affected by, like, the shrimp and the I'm going to go with bacon. Straight up bacon? Okay. Bacon. Fuck that. You eat bacon all the time anyways. You can't yeah, say so the one food you eat all the doesn't... time. So can we say pork in general? No. Well, I guess, yeah. Yeah. Okay, pork. 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 That's good. Word. I do love – I like actually most – Almost all things that come out of pig and 
Yeah. Pork is one of the tastiest animals, in my opinion. Yep. For sure. What about you, Jake? Uh, pork, eh. Kind of, uh, I think I, love, I like beef. Actually, I love seafood. I'd yeah. have to say, I like fish specifically. I, lo- I don't know. Uh, a- but fish isn't very fatty. I was going to say, but yeah. something that's unhealthy. Though. If, oh, if Chinese you food, fish, that's Chinese food. Chinese food. That's still good. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a, a good damn food, good yeah. one, dude. That is a great one. You I love their Chinese fried chicken day. fingers. I love their egg rolls, their crab rangoon, dude. Have you been to New Chief Walk up here? 15 no, minutes from the bro, it's the best Chinese food you can get in really? this area. There's yep. another chief walk. That one that I uh, new chief walk. Yep, this one I go to is uh, walk. what's it's uh, super walk in London Dairy. Mm. They they're, yeah. they're pretty healthy about it, they don't use MSG and they try to MSG is fine, bro. Uh, yeah, there's no. nothing wrong with MSG, but they also try not to fry their food as much and yeah, the bad stuff. But dude, it's the food's fire. My, my thing, and you with can fried, go there and you can get shit face. My thing with fried is that you can very clearly taste when they reuse the oil, and the oil is really oh, yeah, cold. yeah. You like if I mean? you go to like Clam Haven or something and they just cook uh, like fish uh, and uh, clam strips, and then you dude, get I don't know how anybody eats at yeah. those like they're little fucking shacks yeah. that only serve seafood. I would never trust one of those. If places. it was only seafood, I wouldn't mind. Clam Haven serves like burgers and shit. I've gotten yeah. a burger from there that tasted like fish, and I almost. I just don't up. like if you go somewhere like far away from the seacoast and then you get fish. That's yeah. It's like all yeah. right, how long did it take yeah. to get here? Yeah, so straight up. You know they're not getting fresh fish; like it's yeah. frozen, packaged, and then they fucking make it. Frozen but is it's still it's it's not as bad, but boy, that's you really want. Well, when I was down in Florida, dude, they're fucking um. Their beef isn't nearly as good as up here. Facts. Just think about what cows eat down there. I drove past a, a like cow pasture and they're eating brown grass. Mm. It's like, all right. <laughs> New Chief Walk. You should check it out, bro. I'm telling you, that's the place to be. They make all their stuff in-house. What town is it in? It's it's in Salem. Borderline oh, Salem. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You know how like there's a rotary <laughs> right up here? Yeah. If you go down the rotary, but you go towards Salem, it's like 15 minutes up the road. And you just stop, boop, get food. I used to do that like every weekend. That was my like... Treat yourself. Not every weekend, every couple weekends. That brewery you found in Salem is fantastic. I like to oh, I like to treat myself. You like uh like Southern barbecue, like smoked food. Oh, I like love it. We gotta go to the, we gotta foods. go to this brewery, dude. It's fucking delicious. What is it called? It's the Border Brewery in Salem. Dude, it's this little we're in, tiny we tomorrow. Place. Let's go tomorrow. I was gonna say we're chilling tomorrow. So. Yeah, I was gonna say I think uh Haley's class and then she's uh working, I believe. So you done? Yeah, well, uh, yeah. yeah well, she's, she's busy all day. Then I'm get down. The it's a legit brewery. So. Word. I'm yeah. down. I'll have a beer. I had a beer yesterday, and I was like, "Oh, it's pretty good." Yeah, they got some good beers there. They do have some good ones. They I have some the, gross this ones. Week, yeah, yeah. Well, John got this like 11 percent beer, and 12%. all those those beers taste like straight fucking booze. At that's that point. awesome. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's awesome. That's not for me. Yeah, that's fire. Um, I do. Uh, I think we should take a pause uh we'll be back after this sponsor messages is, is. you stupid fuck are you still wearing old navy you dumb sack of shit what alternative original.com what the fuck are you doing <laughs> hey hey hey, hey. Okay. that was it hey yeah hey. was it that was yeah i'm wearing well, fucking is that what you're wearing Alternative original, baby. This thing, I look. I feel like I'm in a blanket right now. Like I feel fucking. Alternative original, motherfuckers. Yes. Probably the uh, most comfy winter jacket I've ever worn. Looks this thing is wild. Got a diesel ass hood. Straight from it's a fucking... koala bear. Mm-hmm. And you can like tighten the thing so it's like a tighter than a tighter. Than... <laughs> Probably gonna have to cut that out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's an ill snowboarding jacket, real ass material. I'm actually starting to sweat just sitting here. I also got the fucking sweats on, but you can't see that in this. Um, but the they're also sweat skin. Yeah, so fucking. Look, cool. look how fly this fucking guy is. Are you kidding right? me? Are you waking up in the morning? You're putting on your fucking baby gap clothes, and you're telling yourself yeah. you're not gonna shop at Alternative Original. Look right. at this fucking guy. Look all at right? me. It's fly as fuck. He's dapper. You want to be this that fly? Is beautiful. AlternativeOriginal.com, TBV Podcast. That's the promo code. Again, discount code TBV Podcast. You will get 20% off your entire order. It's uh, urban streetwear. They also sell art, other urban accessories as well, and it's all custom made. Alternative Original Clothing. Back to the episode. So. John blew 4K at yes, the strip club. So I blew 4K to strip club. I have told this before, but that's that's wild. It was in one night. In one night. 
We were um, in Nashville. I Did you a, have it liquid on you cash? Did you have 4K with you? Nah, I had, uh, I don't know. A couple hundred? Probably a couple hundred. Why the fuck? 4K, dude? Yeah. Oh, that hurts. So. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you don't know the half of it. It hurts. <laughs> I don't want to go too into detail with it. One, because I already told most of the story, but the good parts are, are we woke up. Yep. What, 6 to 8 30 in the morning? Yep. Oh, it was like two, 7. Two screwdrivers. 7 in the morning, two screwdrivers back to back. 7 a.m. Like, we're, we're leaning up out of bed and pouring vodka and orange juice in a cup. Okay. In the Where? same bed. In the same bed holding hands. Dicks. Word. And, um, With dicks touching, right. Yes. So we're already two drinks deep. We go out to breakfast. Fucking, I don't know, what, two drinks? Three drinks more? Safe Sunlight. to say we're already kind of drunk. By, Safe to say. By like 11-ish. We're buzzing at least. We're buzzing. We go downtown. Try to, I don't know, we go around. The first thing is we try to go to a strip club early. Didn't, didn't really work. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, then we find out that like bring your own booze. So we have to go to a liquor store. Oh, our day in Nashville was nice. John bought a beer off of someone in a cooler and then asked a police officer if he could drink it. Yeah. <laughs> did he say yes? He what? did. He's like in the area right there, yeah. Not on the, not where we were. No. Word, word. It was a country like, yeah, music. It was it a up. country music fest going yeah. on. There's a music festival. So, so yeah, I don't know. It was a fun day, basically. Yeah. But we were drunk by the time we were at this final strip club. Drunk, yeah. drunk. Like, I think, yeah, drunk. Have we both drunk. already thrown word. up at this point? Uh, well, I remember we had a bottle of Jägermeister. Yes. John was trying to flirt with the uh, lady at the um. At the liquor store, yeah. At the liquor store. Cash she still has and, an and, <laughs> Oh, don't worry. Hold on. It's still time. I never got like a number or anything. And um, You never gave her your number. She just like. No, she said to come back. We were driving around on scooters that you rented on an app. Word. Yeah. And I was. Wicked all the electric dude. ones, right? Yeah. Very those dangerous. ones are fire. Those dude, ones are so much fun. We dude. whipped it down. I was almost in a car. I uh, up, fucked my man. foot up. Yeah. Yo, bro. We had to go through the rain. When I went to Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia, same shit here. There are, and like you, you pick one up and it'll be dead. Like fuck, and you gotta get another one, right? Yeah, like I find another one. I don't. I don't think I've had one. Since Someone time. took our scooters, and when we finally left, yeah, wicked late at night. I don't remember what happened. Some guys left like, "Oh fuck, scooters! We can get out of here." And they right. just dip with your scooters. Yeah, we ended up walking, and we just not like you can lock. We them. saw a building that was really tall, and we followed it. Yeah, towards it, like well, the North Star. Did. I was kind of blacking out at that mm. point. I was being yeah, an we're asshole. arguing with each other, and yeah. then I walked up to a cop. It's like, "Hey, sir!" I was like, <laughs> "Where's uh, Broadway?" He's like, "Oh, it's right there." And then we walked there, and as we walked up. We finally found the corner. We got dropped off, and as we walked up, the bus was coming. Yeah, the bus just rolls right yeah. up. It's like one in the morning. We're like, "Fuck!" Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That was lucky, dude. That's where was this? Nashville, Nashville, Tennessee. If you ever get a chance, go to Nashville. It's fucking. You guys beautiful. just wanted to have fun. Yeah, I did a road trip down there, and that then, sounds uh, pretty dope. I have yeah. a kind of similar story, but it was solo. Um, yeah. Oh the, yeah. Wait. So just to, at the end. Oh yeah, strippers. Right? Gross stripper. Yeah, yeah. That I saw, but I was really drunk. Um. I just, she said, yeah, like I gave her money. I was like one of the first people in there. She wanted to come back into the room and give me a private dance or whatever. So I was like, yes, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, 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 let's, let's do go. it. Um, I don't know how much money I dropped at that point. It had to have been three to $500. Next thing I know, I remember, like I, this is when I started taking blacking out. Taking out more money? Next thing I know, I remember taking out more money. Oh, no. Taking no. out more money again. Then my bank wouldn't let me take out more money because like the it has like a limit of how much you can take out in like a certain period. Fuck. So like it was like I could only take it out three or five times or something. Oh, I guess that's a good thing for John. Definitely a good thing. <laughs> I'm so glad they did that. Oh um, no! I think they thought someone was like stealing money because it yeah. just put the max I could take out like five times. Yeah. Um, and then I when I couldn't use it, I had to use my credit card. <laughs> so. I uh, I went black again. Then I I remember throwing up in a bathroom. That I remember being shoeless. I was walking around with socks on in a strip club. Yeah. Uh, back and forth through the strip club. Yeah. Uh, remember buying. Okay, so the uh, I remember Sheesh. putting my thumbprint down as a signature, and I don't remember what I was signing, but I remember the receipt saying one thousand four hundred seventy something oh fuck so i don't know what the hell cost that much i'm pretty sure it was for them to follow us around all night i don't know but pretty sure shortly after we left (laughs) so that's we made it back that's all that counts dude that's true i was blacking out to the point where i woke up in the morning 
not remembering how the night ended mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I just see my phone as like just mad things on it like mad notifications so I tilted it and I'm like just leaning over looking at it and it's like your credit card has been maxed your credit like you have these transactions all this shit going on I was like oh, like, oh my no. god oh, no. immediately was just like dude I maxed out my credit card I spent four thousand dollars last night I was like oh dude and then the next day we went and did an escape room with uh, there was a family with us yeah Oh, like children. No. That's what we did the next day. It still wasn't that bad, even with the family. But yeah, it being with other people sucks. It's so. definitely not. No. It's not fun. You don't even fucking know or care about these people. We ended up letting yeah, them do it. Basically. That's an experience. I'm sorry you still lost that money, but you know you got to lose that money to learn not to lose that money again. Yeah. Um, definitely one, won't make that mistake again. When I was 19, I went to Canada with a, a friend of mine here. I'm not going to say her name, but it was a girl. And we were both 19, and you can drink in Canada at 19. So I go to Montreal. She knows a boy down there. So when we get down there, um, she's kind of like hooking up with a guy, right? So he's the DJ. He finishes his set, and he goes to leave, and she goes with him. So I'm at the club by myself, and I'm like, okay, word. So (laughs) I'm at this club by myself in fucking Canada. We took a taxi to get there. I'm like... How much was that? I have no idea. I was drunk, bro. The entire time. She <laughs> took charge of everything. You were drunk the whole I time? I was drunk the whole time. So whatever. Wait, did she pay for everything? Um, I don't remember how we took care of that. I'm sure we split it afterward. But either way, so I'm at the club and I'm like, I got to go back to my hotel because it's like 1, 2 in the morning. Yeah. That was like an easy 20 minute, 10 minute drive. So it was like an easy 30 minute walk. Well, would have been if I knew my way. So I'm yeah. like- I'm walking. I'm like, okay, I remember we drove down this road. And I'm walking like that. Like, okay, I recognize this building. I recognize that McDonald's. Damn. And then I got to a part that I didn't know where I was. <laughs> You're like, so I'm just like, fuck it. I'm just going to walk around. What's the worst that can happen? I I, I could have gotten fucking raped. Like, yeah, yeah you could have gotten big time. killed. Killed anything. I'm just raped. walking around drunk. Yeah. Two walking in the by two in the morning, walking by. The, the nightlife there is crazy. People are just like walking around. Drunk. What the? Fuck? yeah dude People they're like walking around i see i saw like trainees that night i saw gay black people can you imagine fucking black people I saw black people i'm joking I'm sorry, <laughs> really loud um, i'm joking but okay. anyways <laughs> i walked until i was like oh in shit. canada in canada <laughs> okay yeah, right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, right. So, dude, I would walk until I saw the skyscraper. I'm like, I recognize that building because I pointed it out earlier. So, I'm like, okay. So, I walked towards it. Then I turn around. I'm like, I recognize that building. Oh, my God. So, I start walking. And, th- dude, I make it back. Fuck yeah. To really? my hotel. Yep. Holy shit. And then I went to bed. Yep. How long uh, did that take you? Do like you know? 30, 45 minutes, maybe an oh, hour. Oh, that's still not too, too bad. Maybe an hour. Could've I was drunk, like- so I can't really tell. Yeah, it's true. I've uh, definitely walked down some streets drunk for like a few hours, which yeah. was really uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've done that. One, I wasn't twenty. I was twenty. I got kicked out of a bar because every I was underage. Everybody else was of age. We were in um, Connecticut, and I would just walk around the city by myself until three, four in the morning until they were done drinking. Jesus in Connecticut. Yeah, that's not good. It's fucked up. Oh, it wasn't a bad part. I found a jazz bar and I vibed in there. That's Fuck good. Yeah. <laughs> this woman was singing. She was beautiful. Beautiful voice. Um, what's the dumbest way you guys have hurt yourselves? I'll say one example that happened to me when I was a kid that stuck out really hard for me. Word. And it's kind of classic. I feel like a lot of people have done it. Mm-hmm. I uh, was like writing something on my desk and I sneezed and smacked my head off my desk. I was like, Achoo! Smashed. <laughs> yeah. That's did pretty say, dumb. Did you say everyone has done it? I said mad people have done it. I've I heard the story that. on like a movie too. So. My boy got a concussion like that. He was uh, washing his hands at, uh, in the bathroom at school, <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, my shoes are untied." So he goes down to oh he God. just smack, and he legit like losing consciousness for like five Jesus seconds. Jesus Christ! It was kind of fucked up. Um, one day, my freshman year of high school, I was at home after school. It was a snow day, and uh, I was playing. Dude, I have all these details. I was playing COD. I was playing COD Zombies, and I went down, and I had to wait until the end of the round. So I was like, fuck. So I got up, got some water. My mom was making some kind of pastry. So she had starch going, which is just water and sugar, mm-hmm. until it melted out down to a caramel. So I was like, oh, what's this? She goes, it's water and sugar. It's really hot. Don't touch it. I'm like, it doesn't look that hot. And I got a spoon, had a glob of it. And I'm like, I'm just going to try some. And she wasn't looking. So I put my finger on it. Burn the fucking oh, yeah. shit Dude, out of that finger, bro. Dude, sugar doesn't stop burning. 
Should that shit was bubbling when I put my finger in it right. too? Right, I was gonna say probably boiled. And I dude. put my finger in it, dude. Yeah. So I was like, "Oh fuck!" And I <laughs> took it out, and then like it caramelized really fast. So I just like ripped it off my skin and yeah. like tore off some skin. Jesus. So I went out, packed some snow in a sock, <laughs> put my finger in the sock, and I went back to playing COD. And I was Jesus like, Christ. "My finger hurt like shit." We got around like thirty. It was dope. Wow. Kino Der and I remember the map too. Jake, dumbest way you've hurt yourself? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I gotta think about it. Have you it. ever shot yourself or almost shot no. yourself? No, I did drop a magazine on my nuts one time. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I was playing with my pistol when I first got it and I hit the mag release and it was a loaded mag and it hit me right in the nuts sack. Mm hmm. Yeah, hitting um, yourself in the nuts is sad. You might need to move the mic down. I don't know how many times I've bumped my head in a basement. But that's not that stupid. Yeah, I wouldn't say that's too, too dumb. I know I have like two prime examples that are massive. I mean, like I got a scar read here. and then Yeah, I feel like I don't have any really that funny stories with getting Trump hurt. Anger. Yeah. I feel like normally when I get hurt, it's because like I cut myself doing something or. Yeah. Carelessness. I feel like. Yeah, it's just something I'm doing. Yeah. It's just a result. Okay. You ever smash your toe against a fucking bureau? Oh, just yeah. like walk and fucking like, like the edge it. of the bed or a oh, yeah. table kick, but I mean it. fucking kick that shit I feel shit, like I do bro. that at least once a year dude John's bed used to have like these knee uh, shin cappers oh, on the God. sides yeah, of them yeah, yeah. I saw it in videos it had like a lip right yeah the, yes. you'd walk past his bed and you'd fucking every time right in the shin smash it huh oh that's fucked I feel you bro that hurts so bad yo Jake no homo you have really really nice eyes thank you buddy I bet you hear that all the time. That's really not, gay. not really. <laughs> no homo I'll take that help. as a compliment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is a compliment for Thank sure. Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, I don't normally get look uh, compliments on my features. Yeah, yeah. Especially normally it's hey, men. you have a big nose. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, you, you got really nice eyes, dude. You do Thank have a big nose too. Oh, speaking, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you have a big nose, you bitch. <laughs> I don't know why this is funny. All right, well, unanal it. Um, I know you guys probably don't. Unanal, I've never heard that before. Unanal, <laughs> when we're not anal. <laughs> unanal, <anymore>. unanal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're in. Did you look at that? Unanal. <laughs> Dude, when we cut on some of the episodes, it's so funny because we're like, oh, um, anal, unanal. And then it just goes back because they don't hear the middle part. Yeah. So it's just really quick. Anal, unanal. And then yeah. it just keeps going. Um, I know you guys don't really watch it. But well, stop the, talking about fucking WandaVision or whatever. The Joe Budden podcast. <laughs> no, I was close. <laughs> yeah, very close. Um... It's finally fucking over, and I'm heartbroken. What do you mean it's over? The the crew is like kind of broke up. Like the main dude Joe Budden is always accompanied by Rory and Maul, and then Parks is off camera, and there's like obviously a team. So what happened? They just they fell out. I don't want to get too deep into it, especially if people don't know what it is, and I know you guys don't. But it's a very common question because this is what it boils down to: doing business with friends Mm. and being able to. Maintain that friendship. Maintain friendship. Maintain the business. Separate business and friendship. Yeah, yeah, which can be pretty fucking difficult, you know. Yeah. Like it's possible, but uh, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know. Do you guys? Could you could you maintain that relationship? Do you think you can walk that fine line? I would. I would have to say it depends what role we play. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, if I take care of a certain part and you take care of a certain part, we can do it. You know what I mean? Correct. If we're both doing the same thing. I feel like if you start to spend too much time with someone anyways, it drives you insane. Yeah. You run out of things to talk about. And like I feel like you kind of become like in the motions. Yeah. Like so like if you're hanging out after, that's like what? Right. And then it just Mm, becomes a business at that point. I, I guess I understand. So you know what's funny about that is on the other side of the token is if you have a business partner, you're probably going to become their friend down the line. Yeah. Yeah, eventually. They've been friends for like seven years in one case and then 10 plus in the other case. So so they had a falling out and no more podcast. But it, it's like essentially coming down to money. Like Joe Budden gets paid a lot and it's his podcast, even though they help build it. But like he has like contracts and he's like, he has a name. <laughs> I understand. But like without me, there's no, there's no us. So yeah. So you're and he has a contract saying that. So it's like, there, there's homies, but 
I'm going to sue the fuck out of you if you start another podcast. He literally said that on his last episode. I was like, Jesus Christ. Like, no way. Yeah, dude, it's serious shit. So that like, last part, like, what, did they get angry at each other? Like, that's it, it's dude, over? Dude, they pulled it down. They only released a 20-minute audio clip, but it's all over, like, Reddit and shit. So I listened to the whole thing. That's dope. Yeah. I fuck with that. But it's wild. So, like, I'm thinking, I was like, damn, like, if this podcast ever even did anything, I mean, I'm still already planning to just split shit three ways regardless. Whatever. But I guess I could understand if I started it and mm-hmm. then like a year in, you brought someone in. The, this would be like, you know, if this is, this is exactly what I it started be. it. <laughs> if the podcast blew up and then I was like, all right, I want royalties for the episodes before I was even on there. And you're like, no. Or, or, or this is like if the podcast blew up, but I wanted to make my own podcast called The Brutal View. All right. What about this scenario, though? Hear me out. Because this might actually no, I can make it simple. Shoot, I have a podcast for a year or two. Mm-hmm. You come in at like the end of the second year. Mm-hmm. We do a podcast for another full year, mm-hmm. but then at year four we blow the fuck up. Mm-hmm. Now you want to split the money fifty fifty, but I'm like nah because I started the podcast, so it's mm-hmm. like seventy thirty or something or eighty twenty, bitch. That's some yeah. That's something that would definitely have to be hashed out beforehand. It's so much quieter than Ruben is on this. Yeah. Is that how it always is? It's probably because I was turning away from the mic too. I'm Ruben is, is a very yeah, he I'm has sorry. a loud, he has a loud voice. Yeah. I sorry. got a subject for once. Okay. Shoot. I mean it sucks because we can't watch the videos. That's previously why I asked if you could pull videos up. Have you guys been seeing the videos coming out of Israel and Gaza? Dude, there's a full with the iron with shit. the iron dome. The there's iron dome is the craziest it's thing dope, ever. Dope, dude. Yeah. It's so dope. You know how much is fifty million dollars for the battery? Forty thousand dollars per missile. I'm, yeah. I'm not hip. Hit me to it. But it's the Iron Dome. Oh, I'll show you right now. It's a defense Can system that shoots for, okay. down okay. missiles that are launched. So it's I, yeah, it's Israel's. You know how many missiles are fucking shot in that area, right? So I believe it's literally like a circular area that's shut down by by you know anti rocket missiles. And so there are videos of missiles coming from the right, and then all of a sudden you hear and a bunch okay. of shit scatter. And then they all poof, and blow up all the rockets. So it's it's fucking nasty. Iron Dome. It hits hitting missiles that are being shot towards it. So it's literally defending okay, a I city. I think I have seen missiles. that before. So that's called the Iron Dome. It's crazy because each one of those rockets can kill hundreds of people. Can I see the video? Yeah. yeah I might be this, able to. Look at this picture. This is Those are the rockets being launched in the. That's dope as fuck. See this? Look at this picture. Can you yeah, send that that's picture exactly to me? Because I can throw like images. Yeah. And even, like, that, I can throw like a GIF uh, on, that's show, awesome. on the pod. I'll show you that video. Dude, the only demon, the only devil, the only, you know, evil out there in the world is humanity. Yep. Facts. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. There is, you have nothing to fear if you're in the woods by yourself. I mean, you have animals to fear. Don't get me wrong. Like, it just looks, it's crazy how it looks in the night sky. It's amazing how it looks. And people are just living under that. Like, my yeah. lives are being protected right now. Right. <laughs> it didn't didn't take all of them. Only, like, two missiles hit. But yeah. there was hundreds. That was, like, yeah. a 99%. I like think success, in four yeah. hours, 500 to 600 uh, missiles were fired uh, Friday. Fuck. Or not Friday, <laughs> yesterday. Imagine but have you seen the videos that. of uh, Israel's air force dropping bombs on the Gaza Strip? Yeah, they took out like a huge. Uh, no, it was it was a I think it was a hotel. They 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 this the um, superiority in their military effectiveness is insane. Thank God we were born in the United States. Uh, that's dude. If people hate this country, but. We're, that would not fly. I mean, America has been through a lot of shit, especially recently, but this kind of shit would never fly in America. Dude, ever. It couldn't happen. It could have happened. It couldn't happen. The government would have that shit shut down. Oh, yeah. Instantly. Instantly. We don't even know about it. We, it wouldn't, probably, we wouldn't even know about it. It probably t- happens often and we don't even know. Like, Straight they just up. take care of it immediately. Straight up. So, dude, it's it's really it's really hard to look at people that don't live here and be like, oh, like that. you live in a shitty situation. It's hard to empathize, but yeah. it's really important, you know. You don't choose where you're born. It's just luck of the draw. It just happened, yeah. 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 I'm not going to say I come from a privileged background, and I know you guys don't either. You know what I mean? But being born here is already... Yeah, we already have... 100%. Think about the people, you know, in third world countries. They have less. Babies struggling, dying from dehydration, not eating. Right. Worse. No no shelter, no way to keep warm, stuff like that. It's wild. Yeah. The death of someone that's helpless to change it, that's unfortunate. Jake, if we went into war right now, what a type of a soldier would you be? 
<laughs> not even if you would be a soldier. What type would you be? I'm not I guess like would you be like well, a depends uh, on what country you go to war with. It'd be, would it be like uh, a sniper rifle? We go to you... ooh, ooh, I gotta go to one. We go to war with Canada straight up. <laughs> Canada, I'd love Canada, to. Canada, yeah. Okay, in that dude, case, I'm I'm taking dude. Two I'd love Uzis. to be like I'm like a marine or something, dude. Rambles. We run over Canada so like it was nothing. This is how it goes down. The Prime Minister Trudeau is this still Trudeau? It is right. Yeah, I'm I surprised it still is after all those blackface pictures that came out of him, bro. But he's a very good Prime Minister. And he leads well. He's so just racist. Blackface, it's all good. <laughs> okay, everyone's a little racist. That everybody. giant everyone duck flowing racist. around everyone's in Canada. Little, <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah. all right. So the prime minister is like, oh, but Joe Biden's kind of sleepy though. Real talk. And he kinda yeah. Like drops it on Twitter. He's like, sleepy Joe Biden. He just makes like a joke. And Joe Biden's like, I didn't fuck with that. I I didn't fuck with that. And he like, that's at war. Yeah. So what kind of soldier would you be? <laughs> Oh, if I was a soldier, I'd still be. I'd be something on the front lines because we would run over Canada, front like lines. I said earlier. Yeah, you think we would run them over? Oh yeah, I saw a thing. It was a ex uh, special force. Uh, it was, he was in uh, special forces like SAS, uh, Britain, and he was like putting in comparison. Why not the fuck with America? Do we have more airplanes, like air superiority, than they have soldiers? Yeah, <laughs> that's fucked up. And Britain is an insanely <laughs> strong country. Considering its size, yeah, Damn. we have more airplanes. We, can, we invest too much money in defense, yeah. but I mean, but it's we working. also <laughs> we also police the world. We have bases everywhere. For the better, we for the worse. Do you think that's going to turn out well in two hundred years? It depends on where the bases are, dude. It there's depends on who's leading this country. In some places and there's bases that should be in some places. Do like you, in two hundred years, do you think this is all going to work out well? Oh all, hell no, dude! All empires fall. The, all another, empires fall. The United States empire yes. will fall. The there's question another is world when? war coming. Well, see, yeah. the thing is that sucks. It was never supposed to be an empire. We're supposed to be like a sovereign nation. We have enough resources. But we're an empire at this point. It switched so hard when yeah. we. It, George Washington said, don't get involved in European affairs because they're all lead the war. And as soon as we started getting involved in European affairs, we started going into different countries. War, baby! World yeah. War One is where it started. But we owed the French a lot of money for the revolution. And we joined World War One, And that's when we started going overseas. I mean, like... I'm glad that you know more about history than I do. Because yeah. <laughs> I mean, Teddy Roosevelt Basically, was down. And, and we always had our fights with Mexico. But Teddy Roosevelt was down in Cuba, the Rough yeah. Riders and stuff. But you God know, once bless we got over America. there, I might even make that the episode name. God bless America. Yeah, it's a fucked up country. We're racist as shit. The cops kill us for no reason. There's crazy inequality. The less money you make, the more taxes you pay percentage wise. The more money you make, the less taxes you pay percentage wise. Uh, but you gotta love it, baby. <laughs> yeah, but you gotta love that shit. All right, let's get off politics. That was a nice fucking five minutes. Where tangent. the majority <laughs> of people are obese. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Somehow doing Fact. business with friends went deep into fucking World War Four. Th I skipped three. three. I skipped it. Three. I mean, When's God last... forbid. But oh, I, I forgot a, this was a question. This is actually really funny. So hit me with a dog. Oh God, I feel really bad. I almost embarrassed to tell this story. So I'll say a woman that I know mm -hmm. that I shouldn't have said this to was mm -hmm. like. Talking about going to like a chiropractor and like shit like no, that. Oh, he's getting just, fired for sexual harassment. And just how a bunch of people um do it and it really helps them. Mm -hmm. Up and, or down, up or down. And she was like, "Yeah, you know, it's just really like it's cleansing. Like it, it's a great feeling. Like it really mm -hmm. like de stresses you." And she's mm -hmm. like, "When's the last time you de stressed?" And I was like, "This morning." <laughs> 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 that's dope and Did I she immediately laugh? laughed and I was like that's not what I meant did she laugh <laughs> yeah she did and I, I was like I, I meant like I didn't like mean, coffee yeah I'm like, taking a shower yeah like all inclusive vacations have you guys ever done one no yep I went on a cruise trip to Bermuda with my family um, it was about a thousand dollars a person everything included food voyage really fun great Big yeah. recommend. If you have a big family, you don't want to plan something, okay. go on a cruise. If it's a family, do it. Any if other time period, don't fucking don't do fucking it. Don't fucking do it. I did all-inclusive two times now on two separate vacations. One mm -hmm. of them was the cruise. Mm -hmm. And everything that I wanted was not a part of the inclusive package. <laughs> everything. I spent so much fucking money. Like, yeah. I heard someone else talking about that, and they're like, yeah, just get the all-inclusive packages. Someone's like, no, don't do it. And I was like, it, that's a fact. Like... You guys ever fucking try to do those bundles? Don't don't fall. Don't for go it. for it. Don't All fall right, for it. All right, fair enough. That being said, I'm not a big drinker anyway. So like, if the bundle's like, hey, you can go to the 
um, bonsai garden of yeah. the area. I'd be like, well, that'd be kind of dope. But that's <laughs> what I mean. Like yeah, yeah. it was like they didn't include any of the excursions. Like it was like it includes food and drinks on but you the ship. F- yeah, but, but you want to eat other yeah, places anyways. Exactly. And, yeah. and then everything else off the ship you have to pay for still. We're like, what the fuck? Like, well, you know, it's funny. When we went on the cruise to Bermuda, there was a place you could eat for free because it was for everybody. Really? But there was also restaurants you can pick. Oh, okay. There's an Italian place. There's an Asian place. There was a sushi bar. There was um, a barbecue. There are a bunch of spots. Yeah. And you had to actually spend money and go there. You probably went to a nicer place then. Yeah, it sounds like I went I to a nicer remember, cruise. I don't remember seeing anything like that style like when i went Dude, to a place especially for the cruise like my was, cruise took like an hour to walk around it was massive it was really? so fucking big jesus yeah. christ yeah mine took there like 20 minutes maybe, oh, maybe it was it one of those like better. carnival ships those things are fucking huge those yeah. things are massive yeah i it was norwegian it was one of the oh, norwegian oh yeah ones. yeah you know what's funny is i almost my girl had it falling out with her dad we were supposed to go on a cruise i was supposed to go instead of her brother and it was one of the norwegian ones that they just built but the whole coronavirus thing happened anyway, so yeah, that probably facts. got canceled. So it got shut down. Yeah. Yeah. So they miss out on much. I'll go on one on eventually. It's a lot of fun, man. Dude, I really want it, to go on another one. If you want to go on a cruise, if you want to go on a vacation where you don't have to think about anything, you can sit in the sun and just like vibe out, I think that's a great vacation. I'm not going to lie. I would go well, back. Well, it's like I go down to my grandfather's house in Florida. That's how I feel because I'm just chilling. Yeah. My, da- my yeah. dad's there. Yeah. My grandfather's there. I'm just chilling. Oh, that's what I, mean. I yeah. wouldn't want to be with family. I well, dude, be my dad myself. and my grandfather love to drink and my my dad's like the coolest person yeah, in the world. Yeah, they're mad cool to like chill with. So it's like, Word. yeah. Word. My dad's not cool. My dad's racist. I was going to say, yeah, if I was chilling with my dad, it'd, he'd probably just stare at me. Or someone else in the room. I like to chill with my dad. I like hanging with my dad, but I wouldn't look to do that. No, if I'm on vacation, I won't be by myself. Don't fucking talk to me. I want to smoke weed and do whatever the fuck I want. Leave me alone. Yeah. Straight up. I need to go on a vacation soon. I took a week off in the middle of August. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I took it off, so I'm fucking doing I'm doing something. Word. Maybe leaving the country. I don't know. Go, go, go. Go do it. Can't go to Canada. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> I can't go to Canada either. You know, yo, on my way back from Canada, I got stopped with weed. And can I got you go fined. back to Canada? I think I can go back, but I get flagged every time now. So yeah. now I'm going to search my shit, which is just going to make it really annoying. So there's no reason for me to go back now. I can't because of a DB. A what? DB. Yeah, oh. I got a reckless op. You can't go into Canada with that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. How, how many years post? I don't know seven. how many post. Is it seven? seven? Yeah. Oh, then I got like... Real two years. I was gonna oh, say wow. I got a year and a half. Two so they don't years. fuck with that years. shit, huh? No, they're fucking. It's Canada, dude. Eh? You know. I saw this fucking... video yeah. of someone who dressed like a stormtrooper outside like a comic shop with a fake toy blaster, and the Canadian cops held her at gunpoint and made her get down on the ground and shit. And she isn't that like, a video? That's yeah, actually video. Hilarious. I've seen that video. Yeah, this is, that's crazy. That's yeah, she's literally hell. working. She's like, "This is my job to promote this fucking comic book store." And she got arrested. Okay, that's bullshit. I didn't yeah. know she yeah, was working. Was too, <laughs> she was, who cares? She was dressed up as a stormtrooper. I was a fucking storm. It doesn't even look like, like a real gun. Put the gun. She I was, she was so just running around with a stormtrooper costume. I was like, all right, it's kind of funny. She got arrested. I don't know. That's and the guy story. in the store was yell, like yelling. He's like, you guys are fucking idiots. Yeah, like, obviously, that's plot. But they're all like, oh, you're a fucking idiot. And then <laughs> and they were like, get on your knees. And she's like, I can't get on my knees. Like, in the costume, I guess I wouldn't allow her to. Oh. So I think she just ended up laying down. She's like, just She's just like, I'll try to lay down. I'll shoot my... And she just like, face flops onto the ground. She grabs the blaster. She's like, I'm going to throw it. And they fucking... <laughs> light, light her up, boys. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That'd be so fucking... All right, I got to take Jesus. a fucking leak. You leaking? Yeah. No, she takes off one arm and it's black skin. And then I'm like, she got to kill her. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it worse. Canada. <laughs> Canada's racist too. Ruben, do you got to pause for anything? Up to you. Do you have any high driving stories? Like driving really high? Um, like just doing something stupid, not like something like yeah dramatic, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. I because I've done some dumb shit. When I first started smoking, I didn't really like driving and smoking at first. I got really used to it. And now I fucking love it. Uh, on my way to work every morning, I'll rip a bowl while I'm in traffic. Allegedly, yeah, I do the Allegedly, same thing. Allegedly, yeah, uh, right. Yeah. I may or may not do that if my employers are listening to me. <laughs> <laughs> my new employers, right? Right, yeah. Um, Employed, Ruben. But I'm a very, I'm a very good employee, and I have great work ethic, and I'm very attentive. So yeah. Um, no, I mean, other than anxiety, I mean, oh, oh I've missed turns. 
Yeah. On like I've missed exit on highways. You haven't like turned in like to like the the opposite way in a one way or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have done that. So I've allegedly um driven high man times and allegedly the one of the times I was uh at Dunkin' Donuts and mm-hmm. Everyone in the car was like also allegedly really high. And when I walked up there, I know it was mad funny. I just, instead of saying a, fro- a strawberry frosted donut, I said a strawberry frosted. Mm-hmm. And I just yeah. bursted out laughing. I mm-hmm. couldn't continue at all from there. Yeah, and then yeah. everyone in the car started laughing. Yeah, yeah. Woman was just like, do, do you want anything? Like, and I was, we, I drove off. And you just left. Yeah. I actually, I've definitely done that I a feel few that. times. Yeah, yeah. A, That's kind of funny. No lie. I haven't done anything else that bad. Um, fucking. One time I pulled up to a drive thru with my buddies, and in law. All right. So, like, if you're of any, like, culture, you know, going to a little grocery store locally, but like, we used to pick up Platanos. So, when we would go pick up Platanos, we would say, How much for a dollar? Which is, Cuantos son, a cuantos son lo platano. You know, okay. you say that. A cuantos son lo platano, they say four for a dollar. So, you can get four plantains for a buck. They're really fucking cheap, right? So in the middle of the night, me and my buddies are grabbing Wendy's and we get up to the window and I go, a cuantos quant- a son los platano, nigga. And the guy was <laughs> mad loud, dude. And I was blasted out of my mind. And the guy just rolled his eyes and I was dying laughing, <laughs> laughing bro. At him. I have a video. I should fucking find it. Yeah, you should. Let me see if I got it. I don't know if we can play it on the pod, but can we play it on the pod? Yeah, fuck yeah. Do we have your permission to do that? Because yeah. I will plug it in. Yo, a cuanto solo platano, nigga. Donde esta zona? Jake, do you have any alleged high driving stories that you've done something dumb as hell? Like oh, I think I, most of them were just on you. Yeah, I was normally right. sitting in the car with you. I've done some <laughs> fucked up shit, dude. Yeah? Like, some that I don't know if I should say. Um, Word. Because a lot of them I might have been drunk as well. What was that one? Um, <laughs> I think Wendy's when I grabbed I grabbed my drink from her. I was like, I have AIDS. <laughs> she was like, okay. Oh, no. That, no, <laughs> that no. Was? That was, so it, actually, you were sober for this one. I think I was sober. It was early in the morning. We went to Dunkin' Donuts. And me and John, it was actually the one right down the road on Crystal. And mm-hmm. me and John were in the drive-thru and we're talking. And like, as soon as the window opened, we were just like shooting the shit. And he just goes, I have crabs. And like looked over <laughs> and the lady's just like, I'm sorry. Yeah. That's <laughs> actually pretty funny. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. And he's just like, yeah. Did nothing means I went to, I forget who I was with, but we just, we went to Wendy's and we stank. And um, it was just as, <laughs> Jamaican woman, like this big Jamaican woman, and she goes, mm, "Smells like that good, good in <laughs> <Yeah>. there." <laughs> with a heavy Jamaican accent, and we're like, "Yeah." I think we were with uh, Daigle with we that, could, weren't we? Was we could have been at like Taco Bell or something. Yeah, you gotta have some ambition in life, dog. I'm just gonna throw that out there. How hey, you really feel? Mm-hmm. Your COVID sick ass. Did yeah, you I'm allergic to COVID. Look at me. I'm allergic to COVID. And I'm not letting it hold you me look back. Look like you're getting a little sick again. Your eyes are getting a little. Fuck you, now. bro. I'll sneeze on your shit, bro. If you sneeze on the mic, it's kind of your mic. Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> that's kind of gross. It is, right? Um, okay, I think I don't have anything else. Let's see. Really quick. Uh, Humbity bumbity boo. Walking uh, with a kid by his feet. No, that's not it. Um, uh, killing someone and getting away with. Yeah, okay. If you kill someone, how do you? What's the, how would you get away with it? Um, I don't know if I'd be able to. Because I've been arrested, so I have my fingerprints and CODIS. Think like burning the body. I think I'm gonna go with, with the good old. Uh, weight on the ankle and drop them in the, in the lake or something. I feel like that's effective. I mean, like you could always dissolve them. With acid in a in a barrel. Yeah, but do you know how to do that? Yeah, but then getting that acid is gonna put you on a fucking watch list. Or you could always go deep in the woods and bury them six feet deep because they only find bodies that are in shallow graves. Very, very true. Digging a six foot grave is gonna suck. Or it is. you can shoot them with a pistol with an interchangeable barrel and switch the barrel and destroy the other one, so your pistol can't technically be evidence because it's a different caliber. Yeah. You have to do that really smart at that point. You got to plan that out. Probably shoot him without him even seeing you, you know? Right. It'd have to be a lined up shot, yeah. no blood splatter. Like, you'd have to do oh, you could probably No, you can get blood splatter. You're just going to yeah. change the barrel because it's a different caliber at that point. You can't match the murder weapon with the crime. Or you can use a sabot round because it has a plastic shoe around it 
and you can use a rifle and the bullet itself doesn't touch the rifling so it doesn't leave a pattern and, and if you want to kill the people use jake's shell, code coming down here on the screen <laughs> and the plastic show the plastic shoeing does is too uh it's too like fine it's too weak it doesn't leave the rifling and it's just just falls apart after the like the rounds See, fire this is why i asked this question i knew that uh, he there's a lot of things you can do you've thought this out before no i read a book I don't That'll think do I don't think I'd be able to get away with it. I feel like if I were to kill anybody, it would be an emotional thing, and I'd probably have to be really emotional at that point. But I don't even think I would at that point. So you think you'd snap after? You think you'd like? I I think I wouldn't do it in a good way. And if I were gonna kill any somebody and do it in a smart way, um, I'm not sure. I'd probably I like the grave idea, six feet deep. What I like the, the ocean. I think ocean's ocean, ocean's yeah. great. But they always wash up though. You gotta huh? go like you gotta be far in the ocean if you do that. Far, well, the far, sharks far. will eat them if you go far enough. Yeah, just throw some chum. People are dumb. They'll like go out like fishing, like deep, like right before deep sea fishing, and dump a body. It's like yeah, that's like close enough where it'll it'll wash back. Hey, right, you gotta go deep as fuck. Yeah, you gotta like chum that shit up, like he said. Yeah, um, I'd like I'd want to put it in a place where it's just not gonna be found. So like the middle of the forest, where like you know, put somewhere on- where no one goes. So what you would do is like put on a hunter vest, right? Boop, and you're you're just like a hunter hunting for fucking turkey. And lug forest, a body. <laughs> and for, like near the end of the day, so by the time you're done digging, it's dark. Nobody can see you, right? Throw the body in there. Yeah. Cover that shit back up. All right, I thought of another one. Cover it with leaves. Go up on like a tall building right next to a road and just like drag the – like after you kill them, right? So you kill them somehow. And then you like take their body up there. So you choke them to death. There you go. Choke them out. Right. Take their unconscious body up there and then throw them off the roof into the road. Like, they killed themselves. There's a way to tell. Oh. They, so first of all, there's a way to well, tell. Well, yeah, that maybe if you choke dead. them out, that's probably not a good idea. So you gotta right. do something where it won't maybe uh, stab them with a little uh, roofie. You know. Stab them with a roofie. With but a, they're gonna do a, a sleep, they're sleep gonna drug. do an autopsy and they do a drug sc- screen. Yeah. So maybe and they're he, gonna be like he's roofied up. He maybe drugged himself and jumped off a roof. That's a pretty, you know, what, write him a love uh, suicide. If it looks like a suicide, they don't tend to investigate it. Look what happened to Jeffrey Epstein, right. one of the most high profile cases. But there's a reason why in the that country. They didn't yeah. Come anywhere. Yeah. You know, but because. if it looks like a suicide, it's a suicide. I was going to say, I feel like a lot of suicides aren't like investigated. Kurt Cobain, he didn't kill himself. Yeah, fucking. Of he did, sh- yeah, dude. the fucking shotgun. Do you know how hard it is? To, like, it is difficult to, to do that. Yeah, and he's an asshole. I'm thinking yeah. that he was that sitting shit. in like a computer chair, so he put it on the ground and maybe just like. That's true. <laughs> that's I actually that's did. See, I did watch this video this one time. I, I'm not into conspiracy, so there's that's my thing. Um, You're definitely into conspiracies. No, I'm not. You've brought up multiple cons- like which ones? I can't like the remember. Papa John? Like three episodes ago. Which one? I don't remember. We'll look at it after this. I remember. Right. I remember you. Eric got on you about it too. You're like, you're gonna bring up a conspiracy right now. I don't really like them. I think they're kind of whack. Most of them. So you don't believe in any conspiracies. So I, what? What the government tells you, you believe, is what you're saying. I mean, sheep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'll take that. I don't. I don't dive into many conspiracy theories, but I love entertaining them. I don't like entertaining them. I like it. I don't. Except like... I think they're interesting though. There's some dumb ones. There's some really dumb ones. Yeah. There are dangerous ones. I don't like the dangerous There's ones. There's dangerous ones. I don't like dangerous conspiracies. I like funny conspiracies. I kind of like the 9-11 ones. I'm not going to lie. I, I did for a minute, but that's very dangerous and that's a rabbit hole. Because I like the thought that the That's government- where people start. That's where the... It, there's a good portion of America where people are just like so brainwash that every conspiracy is true yeah and it starts with a 9-11 conspiracy but then the other person can say oh you're so brainwashed that you believe that everything they put out is true i Isn't don't that the same argument i don't no not at all because so okay so let me tell you something being con- being a conspiracy nut and believing all the conspiracies and actually like putting tinfoil on your head and distrusting the government and thinking um, that Bill Gates is putting a microchip in you with a vaccine. Or That's that Eric conspiracy. Eric doesn't fuck kids. Or Eric doesn't, of course, yeah. right? Or like chemtrails right. or harp or Eric uh, isn't in jail right now. Right. Fucking asshole. But anyways, um, what I'm trying to say, like believing those kind of conspiracies, it's a mental fucking disorder. Like yeah. you're not okay, you know? I, to a certain extent, Last there's thing. a healthy distrust, but to a certain extent, you're not okay. Okay. 
Yeah, no, I won't dive into that because that'll spark a whole new conversation. Word. All right, well, you guys think we're going to be in uh, World War Three for gas soon? Gas prices shot the hell up. I'm going to end no. on this. No, I'll just buy an uh, electric car. Not a big deal. Nice. We have enough oil here. We don't have to worry about it. I think so, too. Yeah, yeah we're, I'm not worried. The only reason there's shortages is because there was that uh, cyber attack on that pipeline. That being said, I was speaking with a friend of mine. Well, I actually, I can't divulge too much information. I know of an individual that used to work for the government and did cybersecurity for the government. And they told me that there is no cybersecurity for the government. <laughs> that it is horrendous. And anybody that wants to hack into the government does hack into the government. And whenever you like go to a government website or program or anything and it's down or crashed, that's because it's getting hacked at that very time. What the government does, from what I understand from this individual, is that they just put a band-aid on it. They they um, I don't even think they solved the problem. They just say, okay, the hackers are gone and go back to running like normal. Wouldn't surprise me. They just like shut it off during the hack. Yeah, like they turn it off and turn it back on. And they're just like, okay, cool, we're back. And that's it. So, I mean, there is no real government security online. It is an actual joke. I feel like it's a hacker's job to defeat security. And security doesn't really understand. Like, you can get the best security in the world, and there's going to be a better hacker. You know what I mean? There always is. No, yeah, yeah. I understand what you're trying to say, but that's not the problem. The problem is, is, is just uh, they uh, should invest more into the. There is no cybersecurity. There's no <laughs> cybersecurity. Like there is, yeah. a, like they have McAfee. They pay forty dollars a month for McAfee for the entire country. Well, for Norton antivirus, that's what they got. <laughs> <laughs> you know how that works. <laughs> they pay forty dollar, one forty dollar for everybody in the country. That's fucked. Yeah, that is pretty bad. <laughs> I hope everyone has to go back to riding bikes. That'd be fucking hilarious. If oh the no, roads no! I wouldn't were be down. Filled with fucking bicycles. That'd be awful. We could, we couldn't, we couldn't, we couldn't. It would be back. legit chaos. It would be chaos. Yeah, yeah. It, won't, it wouldn't work out. So. This was episode fifty-one. Episode fifty-one of the Brutal View. Thanks for tuning in. Fuck all of you. Please check out our sponsors. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of them. There's a couple, but they're they're worth it. Alternative original Amazon Music. Fiverr. Pornhub.com. Well. Pornhub, Pornhub is Hub. not an affiliate. Pornhub is going to be an affiliate. Are they? hear this. <laughs> hey, go to Pornhub.com. We got the best verified amateurs. <laughs> They're not there either. Just start saying them that don't have it. Google, uh, Best Buy, you know. Best Buy is a Microsoft. really good. They pay us a lot of money. Microsoft. Adult Microsoft. Swim. Yep, Adult, Adult Swim. Adult Swim. Um, I actually got a phone call by um, Studio Ghibli. The people nice. from like Ponyo and yep. Spirited Away, like. Nice. Yeah. The Dem- Democratic Republic of China. Joe Biden hit me up on Instagram. Biden. He's like, yeah. He's like, I want to sponsor the pod. And I'm like, absolutely. He's like, Mr. I want to President. smell your feet. Yeah. Mr. Trump, will we let Trump sponsor a pod? I'll let him. Yeah. Go why not? It. He's got money. If he wants to we'll pay us, both. Like, hey. We'll get them both. I'll be like, Trump's the best. Fuck it. You yeah. know what I mean? Let's get get paid. Bush, too. Let's get a. We can Barack. get Bush. We'll get Obama. We can get Obama. We can get Obama. There, no Asian yet. No. Um, we can get uh, a. We can women? Kim Jong Un. We can get Kim North Jong-un. Korea. There we can get go. North Korea because they're yep. gonna want to sponsor That's this. A good one. Yeah. They want a United States president. They're hungry for it. Yeah. You think we can contact North Korea and get them to sponsor? I this? don't know. Dennis Rodman went there. Huh? Dennis Rodman went there. I think I saw that. Let's go. And they're gonna be like, "Who are you guys?" And we're like, "We have a very small podcast. Our they, best chance." They did is it in an interview. Video. Our best chance is hitting up a video game software. A word. Let's go. Let's go to North Korea. Let's uh, fuck Sony. Sony. Uh, Sony pays us a lot of money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah Sony is great. Pokemon franchise. They're giving us a lot of money. Mm, Bill Gates. Uh, yeah. Bill Gates won't Bill give Gates, us Microsoft. Bill Gates' Mi- wife. Won't, won't, won't give us Microsoft because two of us aren't vaccinated. <laughs> Bill Gates. Is, yeah. And that means you don't have the microchip. Yeah. Because the yeah. microchip, you need two doses for Right. It. So he can see like in my veins. and in He my can see mind how big already. your dick is right now. Yeah. That's what it is. Exactly. Is that he can see your balls and dick and so asshole. He, he trusts clearly. us by 33% right now. Yeah. He's yeah. got to up that. Right, right, right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All hail, uh, I think I'm going to keep Dedicates. all of that at the end there. Okay. Oh, nice. See you next week for the season finale. Uh, Eric will be out of jail. <laughs> <laughs>